Just kidding. Hello and welcome everybody to the VAU Mic Check. You might notice a change of venue here. Yes, we have decided to start using Zoom and uh, it's working out. Well, it's got its hiccups, but you know, it's working out so much better than Google. So all of you who've seen us on Google Plus, we thank you very much for jumping in and participating with us. Now we've made it 110 million times easier here. So uh, watch out for that link, watch out for the ID, and please join us in on the mic check. Come on, join the fun. That's what it's all about, right? Well, anyway, as per our conversation last time, uh, Nathan did have to take a break, but he is being put on the chopping block first. So, Nathan, whenever you're ready, go for it. Okay, so you use the other guys, and now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost. But it sure didn't get to the client's pickup. But it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m. And now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express. Reliable, on time, courteous service. So your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. All right. First read, initial. Uh, how did you feel? I felt pretty good. Did you? Okay. Well, what did everybody else think? Opening up the floor now. What did you guys think? No, I didn't hit my button. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> you, you forgot to hit the button. I forgot to hit the button. Oh, that um, is not good. The, uh, I, I think you, you fell into a click. Uh, into more of a groove in, in the second part of it. The first part sounded hesitant. And then you sort of eased your way into it. Okay. Does that make any sense at all? Yeah. When it clicked, when it clicked, it clicked. Yeah, as soon as you hit so, mm -hmm. that's when you really sort of hit your groove. I completely agree with what you say, Jen. Uh, the beginning was, it felt a little stiff. Um, it, it, it seems like the, the opening is supposed to be a little bit more sardonic, you know, so you use the other guys and now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 AM, you know? All right. I'll pick it up from the top. Go for it. Okay. So, you use the other guys, and now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost. But it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m., and now the boss wants to see you. So, next time, use Federal Express. Reliable, on-time, courteous service, so your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. I think that one felt a lot. That <laughs> oh, go ahead. Sorry, I was gonna say it came, it came out of the gate much stronger that one that time. Mm. I felt it was like you had a very dreamy quality to the way you were saying things. Like Federal Express gets it, just like you were just sighing the entire thing. <coughs> uh, I kind of would prefer um, maybe like a more solid type of um, tonality. Like um, like just more sure as opposed to uh, kind of the dreamy expressions. Gotcha. So on that last line, Federal mm -hmm. Express gets it there. Mm -hmm. Or maybe because it, it, it sounds kind of awkward with a pause. I don't know. Does anybody else kind of feel that? Because it uh, sounds kind of awkward with a pause. I understand why, because it, it, Federal Express is written in all caps and it may as well yeah. be bolded, underlined, and you know have stars drawn around it. But um, I, I don't know. I, I think you know putting the pause in there really breaks it up and makes it sound really insincere. Mm. For so a few words, it really could it really could be broken up several different ways, if at all. From uh, Federal Express gets it there. Federal Express gets it there. I mean, there's there there's so many different inflections that you could put on it 
I, I, I don't know. Personally, I, I think that, you know, uh, a little bit of uh, vocal tension could go a long way with, with getting the uh, expression down right. Mm-hmm. Federal Express gets it there. Right. You know, like, it, it is one sentence, but uh, Federal Express just, that's so annoying when writers do that, but I can understand why, because their, their palate is so limited with get, trying to get everything that they mean into it. In but, case you weren't yes. aware of what needed to be emphasized, like yes. the client name, if you didn't, yes. if, if you didn't, if you wondered about where the emphasis should go, we're going to put it in all caps, bold. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the thing name. is, is like, and the throw off is is doubled by the fact that it's all caps there, and um, when it says so, next time use Federal Express, it's you know camel case, right? <laughs> yeah. Federal Express. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Federal Express. Federal it's Express there. gets it there. <laughs> gets it where? <laughs> there. Oh, okay. <laughs> gets it to the back door of your building, unless the other guy is delivering. Guy, you sound so much like Ted. Mc- uh, you sound you Ted. It's you sound so much like Ted McClear. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know Ted? You know um, Ted. Yeah, I'm familiar with him. I thought everybody knew Ted. <laughs> <laughs> your your anyway. your vocal your vocal inflect the the pleasantness of your voice yeah. is is very very similar to Ted's, and so it was it was funny that um when when she was saying that the dream equality it maybe wasn't the the right balance for the script because it is so pleasant. Even though my, even though like my technical brain agreed one hundred percent, my ears were like, "But he sounds just so nice." <laughs> and that's isn't isn't that just the the dilemma of a voice actor? Like, it really is. It's it's so I, I need to fix it, but I sound so good right here. I Look, I don't need my mail delivered to be nicely. It just needs to be in one piece. It does. He wants to I be didn't say it was great for the script. <laughs> It was like ear Thorazine for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, hey, Nathan, what character that you have in your back pocket do you think feels right for the script? Hmm. Let's see what I can pull out. Because I'm thinking like Jewish mother. Jewish mother. Oh, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, well, maybe it's not lost. But the boss Okay, so you, you use the other guys. Here we go. Okay, so you use the other guys. And now the package is well. Maybe it's not lost. God bless you. But it sure didn't get to your client's office by 10 a.m. And now the boss wants to see you. Here, back it up a little bit. Scold, scold the person for that. And now the boss wants to see you. No, no, start from but sure. <laughs> like after maybe it's not lost, but sure, scold them for it. But sure it didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m. And now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express please reliable on time courteous service so your package arrives where it's supposed to and when it's supposed to you precious thing at a very reasonable price that's what we very much like federal express gets it there (laughs) all right what did you guys think of that read Don't spank me, Mama. I'm okay. I'm a good boy. <laughs> I'll do Federal Express next time. <laughs> um, it was it was kind of slow to me, you know. I understand um, where you were going with it. I, I would have appreciated a faster, more. I, I guess I guess this kind of feels like um, one of those um, corporate commercials. Where, it's, where they have like the guy who's talking and it's like really fast paced and um, they have like sound effects and the cartoon and this is like everything's happening so fast but you get what they're saying. So I think it, sh- it could be read um, a bit faster uh, or just faster in general and um, just maybe more sarcastic a bit, maybe more, like 
I guess, I guess just a more fun version of, uh, of it, I guess. Okay, so you thought his character read was a bit too serious and slow? Yeah. Yeah, it's just kind of like, mom, hey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it, mom. Mother knows best. <laughs> and he's Federal Express from now on. When, I don't know why you're talking about my business, but I understand. thanks, mom. <clears throat> Listen, dearie, you got to understand something about Miss Madeline here. She's a yenta. She will be all into your business <laughs> every day. <laughs> and she will try to get you married off. If okay. <laughs> My, my, I, I have two Facebooks and my mother, I swear to you this, this morning I, I posted something and she posted in the thread and we've had this conversation. She just posted TMI. <laughs> I'm 45 years old. Stop trolling me. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I get where you're coming from. I was like, it was like twitchy. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay because what, what, I am 45 and she was trolling me. I typed back I typed back to her TMI. Well, if that's the case, you'll really want to stop reading any post wherein you hit the word Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Save yourself. Stop reading there or you'll just get terribly upset. I'll be out of the will. But uh, <laughs> Jen, what, what did you think of that read this time around? His character read. Um, and interestingly, I, if there's a way to Im embody, to sort of evoke that spirit without it being fully in character, then, then I think that's more the direction that, that the copy is trying to take you. Um, yeah. more of a, more of a snarky tone or more of a, a more of a bite yeah. to it. Um, you know, the, the interpretation can go kind of from a, a shame on you end of the spectrum that that's captured by by that character to a uh, hey nice job scrappy okay nice uh, so you use the other guys and now your package is well maybe it's not lost but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m and now <laughs> boss wants to see you yeah so next time use federal express reliable on time courteous service so your package arrives where it's supposed to when it's supposed to you know so it's just and not that i'm correct just i didn't know how to, to illustrate the the other end of the spectrum yeah and that's i guess that's the read that i'm i'm more used to hearing for a script like this right so you're it's, it's kind of it, i i hear it as more yeah there's that sort of admonishment to it but kind of from the person that's next in line to take your seat sort of <laughs> like hey nice yeah. job asshole okay, way to go with that one yeah you know if it were me i would have used federal express with the you know, reliable on time courteous service and if i'd done that my package would have been there on time you know but again that's just that's just the way i saw it it does invoke that sort of sound well why don't we go ahead and give it another try go for it I'm going to toss just a little bit of a dialect into it. Go for it. Okay. So you use the other guys, and now your package is, uh, well, uh, maybe it's not lost. But, you know, it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m. And now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express. Reliable, on-time, courteous service. So your package arrives where it's supposed to when it's supposed to, and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. I like the pace of that one a lot better. Mm -hmm. But? No, no but. I, I no feel, but? No, <laughs> I like the pace of that better. Um, really just touching back to the, to the previous, if, it's, if there's a way to pull that same pace and tone without it being the character you know using using a more of a neutral dialect to to express that character with inflection instead of with dialect i i feel it would be more successful okay unless they're casting joe pesci for the pot and in that in which case you you freaking nailed it I love my Pesci impression. I love it. <laughs> it actually got me a part on, some, on a pilot. So. 
I, I, I think it probably kept me from ever auditioning for a particular <sighs> game dev ever again. <laughs> uh oh. Well, they said give the mutant fish creature a slightly odd accent. I thought Pesci was a slightly odd accent for a <laughs> fish creature. Well, yeah, I, I, I totally agree. Joe Pesci is a slightly odd accent for a mutant fish creature. Yeah. That, that, that makes perfect sense. It's it's like it fit the character it was not works. weird whatsoever. <laughs> Welcome to the inside of my brain. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love voice acting. Yeah. <laughs> but I, my creative decision was that Joe Pesci was a perfect accent for the mutant fish creature. I didn't. I stood behind it as well. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, off topic. Off topic. <laughs> Let's get back into this. Yeah, because that never so, happens with us. No, it never does. <laughs> So, um, here you are, Nathan. Squirrel. You've been given some advice. Or you've been given some, some, you know, you've been changing up the read, and we like the energy, the inflection, the feel, and everything. Now what we want you to do is preserve all of that while stripping away the character. Okay. Okay, so you use the other guys, and now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m., and now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express. Reliable, on-time, courteous service, so your package arrives when it's supposed to. What? Pick up. So your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to. And at a very reasonable price, Federal Express gets it there. Well, what'd you guys think? Do you think he actually hit that? Do you think he extracted the feel from the character? Much more so. Mm -hmm. I felt that was a pretty solid read. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and doing the character was a wonderful pattern break. <laughs> you Pesci need them weeks you need them <laughs> you need the pattern break yes i'm telling you it's very it's very cool that you were able to take everybody's feedback and i i personally heard everybody's feedback implemented into that last read mm -hmm. and i think that was pretty freaking spectacular now, this is a personal thing with me is I really believe that every piece of direction is just as important to that read as my delivery itself. Because, you know, that direction helps you to know what the producer, director, everyone is thinking, you know, and get you in that place where you're supposed to be. And, even if you don't agree with it, even if yeah. it's not your personal choice, being able to absorb other people's vision for it mm -mm. is, it, that's where the wallet is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it is. I mean, it's... The, the other thing is, is, is it also gives, it, hopefully, you know, with all that direction, it should give you a sense of place. Like exactly what's going on in the world around you when it comes to, you know, this script. And, and <laughs> Super important when it comes to, uh, to any kind of voiceover is just knowing what's going on around you. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to sound completely disconnected. Even those, even some of those big booming but sardonic um, voiceover, uh, uh, like the old uh, cable commercials, or not old, but uh, the some older, older cable commercials where they're like talking about everything that could happen when you're not. Uh, like if you don't switch to cable and it's just like a whole ridiculous set of, you know, circumstances, the guy repeats over and over again. Like even though he's got this big booming deep sort of very stern voice about the whole thing. I mean, he's still playing a character and it's still a funny character. Uh, it's just, um, you know, having a sense of place made it all the more worthwhile because he was kind of repeating it. He was telling this dude's story or whatever, you know, about this person getting into ridiculous, stupid trouble uh, because he didn't switch over to cable. Boils. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think he should take another crack at this? Or is everybody satisfied enough for him to pass the torch? Up to him, really. Mm -hmm. 
I really felt good on that last read. <laughs> <laughs> you rock it. Which I don't think translates to I am so done with this. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm tired of all of you. I'm going home. I'll do it. I'll do it again. But I ain't listening to another word. Y'all have to say. Well, I might. Oh, I, I really. I. I. I think no. I think the last one was really good. Yeah. Same here. I think it was. I think it was really well done. Mm-hmm. I'm just one of those people. I always want to beat a dead horse. The director will say that was good. I was like, no, really, I can do it better. No, we like that one. Are you sure? <laughs> It's like, you just shut up, take your money, and go away. Uh, I walked oh, away okay. from one the other night, and it was, just, it, it, and I, I, it all came out good, but I didn't know it till the next day. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just, you know, chewing my fingernails. Oh my God, I'm going to happen. Oh my God, that was horrible. That was that. Oh, I, I, I you know, I could have done better on that one line. <laughs> I'll never work in this town again. <laughs> <laughs> and, then the next day I get an email and it's like, this was excellent. Yes. <laughs> so like, Thank you. Yes. Now I'm feeling good for the rest of the day. I am Superman. No better yet. I am Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Batman. Who won that fight again? <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> the the guy, on the, uni- the guy on the the unicycle with the bagpipes. Uh, <laughs> oh man, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, Alrighty then. So time to let this I feel like that's my goal. That's that, that's my role here. I'm I'm like goalie. I'm trying to keep everything from you know getting past to, to try to keep it, you know, in play as much as possible. Okay. So Thank you, Nathan. Congratulations, you're hired, as you know, as is tradition here. Um, do I have a volunteer for anybody else who'd like to go next? Yeah, I'll go. Okay, then. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So you use the other guys, and now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost. But it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m. And now, the boss wants to see you. So, next time, use Federal Express. Reliable, on-time, courteous service. So your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to. And at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. All right, what'd you all think? I liked it, but I'd appreciate more finality in the ending. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my that's my main thing. Just more like Federal Express gets it there. Where is it there. going? It's going yeah. there. There. Yeah. yeah. There wasn't enough. Yeah, there was not enough clothes on that. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's kind of like the period dropped out of it. Also, just before then, when you said uh, you know arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, mm-hmm. when, you, when it's supposed to, you completely broke the energy that you had going. Okay. Like it was a completely different place you went to. All right. Where it's supposed to? When it's supposed to? You went way too high up there. Wait, yeah. And that that really did break. It it it, it broke the feel. Like you had a really good flow going all the way up until right there. The up speak hit. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Take two. Okay. So you use the other guys, and now your package is well. Maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m. And now the boss wants to see you. So next time, <clears throat> from the top, okay, you use the other guys. And now your package is, well, maybe not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m. And now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express. Reliable, on-time, courteous service. So your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. Uh, what'd y'all think of that one? That was a good delivery. I can take it. I'm not. I'm thick-skinned. Well, I think having to. Um completely restart after getting into a flow over and over again, kind of threw you off a bit. I mean, uh, it still held uh, some of the same charms that the first read had. And you definitely watched yourself when it came to the uh, list at the end. But, um, you know, I would, 
I would suggest that if you are, you know, if you do have to start from the top, just make it a completely fresh start because otherwise you, you still kind of, uh, um, trying to come up with the words here. You're still kind of dragging along with the, uh, the things that threw you off last time. Okay. Like what I, what I mean by that is sometimes when I'm, when I have to take a retake, um, and I just dive right back in. I always find myself messing up at the exact same place. The exact same place, yeah. Yeah. Um, the thing is, is when you when you do like a quick restart like that, mm-hmm. um, you start getting really cautious with the read. You start becoming like, oh, I, I don't want to mess up right there. And that can throw off your energy. That can throw off your whole read. That can throw off the vibe. You make yourself throw. I, I did exactly the same thing. <laughs> so much, so much for me utilizing information from coaching. I, I did exactly the same yet thing yesterday in a coaching session, and I had this exact same conversation with my coach. The word cauldron, um, I, I hit it as a modifier or summary for for whatever reason in this particular sentence, and then I continued to do it, or I would hesitate. He could he could hear three words before cauldron that I was anxious over it because I like I saw it coming in and was already making steps to work around it well you heard that almost in the sentence prior so what what you're saying I completely understand what I don't understand is why I was not able to not do it again this time (laughs) after I did it yesterday well sometimes you need a reminder it was corrected yesterday there you go. Real world application in a, yes. another training setting. Well, you know, we'll, we'll just, you know, we'll overlook that. Uh, so why don't you go ahead and take it from the top, give yourself a moment beforehand. And just, <clears throat> if you need to restart again, give yourself a moment to completely restart. Okay. Okay. So you used the other guys and now your package is, well, uh, maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m. And now the boss wants to see you. I'm sorry, I've got Skype crap. Again. Okay, so you used the other guys. And now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost. But it sure didn't make it to the client's office by 10 a.m. And now the boss wants to see you. Next time, use federal ex- Okay, so you use the other guys, and now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't make it to the client's office by 10 a.m., and now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express, reliable, on-time, courteous service, so your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. All right. Yeah. Time to lay into her. What'd y'all y'all think? The last line, the last sentence was too fast. Well, look who's the first to jump in. (laughs) (laughs) The the phrasing, the phrasing fell apart from, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m. And the boss wants to see you. The phrasing on that sucked. The beginning could have been a little bit stronger. Yeah. Yeah. I think what happened was is um, your mind got slightly distracted and then didn't snap back fast enough to catch it. I agree. You know, one thing you could also try doing is if something does keep, uh, if something is throwing you off pretty consistently, just repeat that thing that's throwing you off, whether it be the word or the phrase, just repeat it over and over again until you're used to it. Mm-hmm. That way, when you hit it, you've already practiced it enough where it's just like, oh, okay, well, yeah, let me just do this. You just kind of roll over it. I yeah, think, exactly. um, I, I feel like I hit the, um, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m. I hit that right once, and now I can't seem to find that, that hit again. And I'm allowing it, and not, not making an excuse, just mm-hmm. trying to, that's that's where it seems to sort of unfurl um question how when you kind of feel something even though it's it may not necessarily be bad but not 
how you want to present it. How do you keep that from mentally tripping you up? I mean, if you're, if you're in a live session, you're going to go through and either A, unless you're stopped or somebody gives you directions after, you know, redirects you after you've completed, you deliver your stuff and you shut up. So, so how do you keep yourself from really second guessing and just keep, keep moving in a way that you're not affected by what you feel wasn't necessarily on point. Does that make any sense? Yeah. yeah it makes uh, don't sense. think about it. Yeah. Cause I'm really bad about that <laughs> myself. I, I have this bad habit of being excessively overly analytical and super perfectionist. And uh, I have had to train the perfectionist out of me. And sometimes, right. you, you know, perfectionist Nathan tries to creep into the booth with me and say, that sucked, Nathan. That was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, no, let me pick this back up and forget you exist. <laughs> you know, I just have to shift gears mentally. So uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the name Nancy Wolfson at all, but um, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I, I didn't think so. No, not not many people. How do you how do you pronounce that again? Was uh, it, what's the Wolf, idea? Wolf son, Wolf like son. like you know, like a like the son of of a wild animal that'll yeah. tear you apart in packs. Mm -hmm. But um, Nancy, one of Nancy's pieces of advice for something like this, for not overthinking it, is it's really interesting because it, it kind of feels counterintuitive. So when you're voice acting, you have all of this equipment that you normally utilize. I mean, you obviously have the microphone. You, you can't record without it. So that's, you know, duh. Um, you got your headphones on. You got your mic stand in front. You got the, 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 the whatever you have in front of you to hold the script. You know, all of this stuff that you're normally used to having when you're in the booth. Well, one thing that she suggests um, is when you're listening to yourself as you're recording it, you can be really critical during the middle of your performance and that can throw off your entire performance. What she suggests is take the headphones off. Okay. Use yep. the headphones just to find the right EQ, the right sound, just, just for the, you know, the very, just analyzing how you're, how you're coming off. But um, when it comes to actually performing, take the headphones off, just do it. If there's a problem, the director will let you know, and then you can make the slight tweaks without listening back to yourself and right. be a third, you know, or a, a second or third director in the room. Right, because nobody necessarily yeah. invited me to direct. They <laughs> want me to yeah, do what yeah. they hired me to do on the basis you, exactly, of what I submitted. Exactly. You're there to yeah. act. They're there to direct. Right. So taking the headphones off pulls you out of the director seat. Okay. I will I will do that. <clears throat> Another take. Go for it. Okay. Okay. So you use the other guys. And now your package is well, maybe not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by ten AM. And now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express. Reliable, on-time, courteous service, so your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. That felt a little better. Mm -hmm. um, well, I'm sure everybody could agree it definitely sounded. Yes. Like yes. <laughs> hey. you, you sounded, sounded much more relaxed. Yeah, yeah, you sounded relaxed, comfortable, and just in there. Mm-hmm. The only two notes I would have for it is um, where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, kind of float a little bit awkwardly, mm -hmm. and, I agree. Uh, and a bit more finality at the ending, because I, I was expecting more words after you said the ending. Okay. But that's more punch. Mm -hmm. All right. No, not more punch. A button it. Just yeah. end button. it right there. Yeah. Gets it there. Yeah, that. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Oh well, yeah. Oh, sorry. I was I was too busy not caring. What, what yes. was? <laughs> no, you, you got it. Just just go ahead. Take it from the top. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. So you use the other guys, and now your package is well. Oh, maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by ten a.m. 
And now, the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express, reliable, on-time, courteous service, so your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. Yeah, I like that. And anybody? Anybody? I liked it as well. Nice job. Thank you. It was good. <laughs> Three thumbs up. Congratulations. She buttoned the tagline. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. The tag. Yeah. Yeah. Gets it there. Done. Yay, hooray. Thank you. <laughs> no, that was a very good read. That was definitely a, a very good read. You felt a lot more relaxed and natural in, with the whole thing. It just felt like, you know, uh, all of the overthinking was gone at that point. It was just, all right, we're diving in, we're doing it, and that's that. Mm -hmm. That was that was perfect. Was Thank great. you. Felt lovely. Awesome. Well, congratulations, you hired. Can you come in uh, Tuesday at 10 a.m. to record? Yes. All right. We'll pay you $10 million. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to come in one? <laughs> yeah, I went to, yeah. That's great. Just let me cage up all these monkeys that just flew out of my ass. And uh, <laughs> I'll be there too sweet. All right. Well, if nobody. I'm sorry. Was that completely inappropriate? I'm not yeah. going to say it. I'm yeah, not... nobody likes Tootsie Rolls. Gosh. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> well, if, any, if nobody has any objections, I would like to go next, if, if that is okay. I mean, okay. I guess. Uh, okay. I was, going, I was hoping to go next, but okay. Well, uh, why don't you go ahead, Tia? Okay. Okay, so you used the other guy, and now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m., and now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express, reliable, on-time, courteous service. So your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. Hey. Have you been, have you been practicing your reading, Takia? <sighs> yes, I have. <laughs> well, it shows because your reading's gotten a lot better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, cool. Thanks. <laughs> um, one thing I would like you for you to do is maybe um speed it up just a little bit more. Mm hmm. And um, when you when you say gets it there, I need mean, just I, like like everybody else, just make it final. Gets it there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you use the other guys. And now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m. And now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express, reliable, on time, courteous service, so your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. All right, Dodge, do you think she hit the, uh, the direction there? Yeah, I think so. Um, cool. <laughs> yeah, I think um, maybe you should uh, go over it like maybe one more time. Just try, try a smidgen more fast so, um, so we can like, it's, this is probably like a 30 second spot, yeah? So, yeah, um, it seems like it. Yeah, so maybe maybe a little bit faster and maybe add a couple more dynamics, and I think you're good. Uh, by dynamics, what do you mean? Like add ups and downs. You like like okay, so use the other guys. Just like maybe have a little more fun with it. Play with the screen. Oh, oh. 
Okay. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So you, the other guy, and now your package is well. Maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m. And now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express, reliable, on time, pick up courteous service. So your package arrives when, where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express, get it there. Yeah, I think that was good. What about you guys? Cool. <laughs> it was good. Ah, thanks. Kind of relaxed, comfortable. Mm-hmm. All right, congrats. I think you did a great job on that one. All right, thanks. We've also lost Jen. Uh-oh. Yeah, she just messaged me. She's typing currently. Mm. Okay. Saying thank you so much. She probably had to bow out for something. Mm-hmm. All right. No, I thought you said you wanted to go next. So mm-hmm. jump into the lion's cage. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Okay, sorry. She um, <laughs> she stepped out to go check on her kids. Apparently, the bar fight must have uh, must have escalated. Ah, that's what that noise in the background was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <clears throat> here we go. Okay, so you use the other guys, and now your package is well. Maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by ten a.m. And now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express. Reliable, on-time, courteous service. So your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. Hey, Michael. (laughs) Hey, uh, you a little fast there, buddy. (laughs) What are you talking about? I never talk fast. What do you mean? Just, just kind of, just zoomed on by Roadrunner. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that was my main thing. Is just um, you, you zoomed really fast at the start, and you kept on going until you got to Federal Express. Gets it there. <laughs> These lines were delivered in the Federal Express fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by Federal Express. Gets it there. <laughs> it kind of reminded me of the FedEx guy that comes to the TV station, because mm-hmm. he kind of talks real fast he has a kind of a nervous tone when he does it but it almost sounds like it was that guy (laughs) delivering (laughs) okay got it slow it down just just a little bit i mean you know if it was wanted for that spot that would have been excellent (laughs) i I wasn't expecting i never heard you go that fast before (laughs) (laughs) okay slow it down got it Okay, so you use the other guys. Now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m. And now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express. Reliable, on-time, courteous service. So your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. Well, you did something different with the ending there. I yeah. Um, I, I want more dynamics, Michael. You're just point A to point B with my package. Uh, if it's not fragile, you, you can you can take the mountain. You can go over the minefield. It's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now I was just dynamic enough, but too fast. Now I'm just fast <laughs> enough, but not dynamic. <laughs> All right. It sounds like Dash through. wants you to give the package to Ace Ventura to deliver it. <laughs> I want the whole package, Michael. All right. All right. All right. I'll put it all together. Okay. So you use the other guys, and now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m. 
And now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express. Reliable, on-time, courteous service. So your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. That was good. That was, that was well good. I have one, um, one thing, one more thing. Last thing, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a real session. I mean, yeah, really. I, don't, I don't know what's going on right now. I, I didn't realize I was actually hired for this. All right, cool. Yeah, what is it? What's up? Um, when you're listing, that's part that you go really fast there, and um, I want you kind of like to hit hit them more. Like you kind of just go reliable, on time, courteous service. So your package gets to it. Suppose so that kind of want, slow it down because these are the points that they're trying to say. Like we're reliable, we're on time, we do have courteous service. Then just hit them, you know, real hard. Got it. Speed through them incredibly fat, incredibly flat. Exactly. I want you. I want you to make me so bored. I want to get out at that part specifically. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everything else okay though? Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so you use the other guys, and now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m., and now the boss wants to see you. Gosh, dang it. It's all right. Pick up. Okay, so you use the other guys, and now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m. And now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express. Reliable, on time, courteous service. So your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. You changed the read, bro. <laughs> the beginning. I like the first one more. <laughs> I am just lacking in consistency. Ah, <laughs> uh, I am ashamed. I'm sorry. It's just <laughs> time, time to do that little thing where it's just like stretch, shift gears. <laughs> See what happened oh. was. <laughs> I usually do this stuff mentally. I don't tell people how I do it. I don't even know how I do it sometimes. But <laughs> you, you, you just kind of ah, breathe and then, you know, act like it's the first time the next time around. That way it's like a fresh read. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me try it again. Okay. So you use the other guys, and now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m., and now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express. Reliable, on-time, courteous service. So your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. Most of it. Very good. <laughs> you got it. Was that it? Yes, yep. you did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I just don't know why I couldn't keep it consistent. <laughs> like, that was something that just totally threw me off. I, I have no idea why I could not keep it consistent. <sighs> Sometimes it's all these little things. I. Hey, I go from broadcasting TV to uh, doing voiceover sometimes, and I have to switch it up in my head. And yes, this has to be under 30 seconds, but... Sunday, <laughs> you know. Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> well, you know, I'm used to doing stuff that's time sensitive. And then, so when I get in here to do something, okay, so I'm working on something that's not like a promo or a commercial spot that has to change it up a little bit. And I have to stop thinking time sensitive, you know, mm -hmm. and I have to shift it over and it's like, okay, 
these are my thoughts, these are my words, these are my actions coming out, not just a 30 second FCC spot, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and it, it, it changes it up a little bit. And of course, even when I did the 30 second FCC spot, I tried not to make it sound as red. <laughs> Because it's a very corporate spot, <laughs> so, but yeah, it gets because it, 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 little things will get locked in your head. I don't know what happened right there at that one bit because it sounded like Michael either lost his piece of copy mm -hmm. or something went technically wrong. Well, yeah. so uh, the way that I have this set up right now is I have a little mini porta booth and my microphone is sitting in it and it's currently on top of my desk and it is half covering my screen. So I'm sort of reading the script with one eye. Um, can, can you move the chat window? So um, you can pop it out. I know, I know, but it's, it's not the chat window. It's the script. That's the issue. <laughs> it's the script and the placement of everything. So I, I lost my spot having, you know, started reading that script with only one eye. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, it's difficult to get back. <laughs> well, at least yes, you know, if you lose your off, eye, yeah. you can still do your job. <laughs> yep. At least I know I can, I can still be a voice actor with one eye. <laughs> voice and... act like a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm already playing for the part. <laughs> You're obligated to get all pirate parts. If you <laughs> Uh, well, um, so since oh, Jen already went, that's right, even though she yeah. didn't, which is unfortunate. We hope she's able to control the situation up there. Uh, hopefully it didn't turn out badly. You um, took a bottle and handled it. Yeah, probably. Just, you know, get in there and take care of it yourself. But I think, Baj, you're the only one that hasn't done yet. <gasps> what? <laughs> yes, I don't speak French, so yeah, you. So. <laughs> It's your turn. All right. Okay, so you use the other guys, and now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m., and now the boss wants to see you. So, next time, use Federal Express. Reliable, on-time, courteous service. So your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. Good delivery, but uh, it sounded a little fast. Mm. Aha, the rubber band is on the other claw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, that, that, I, I would agree with Nathan. It was just a bit too quick. Mm. Okay. So in that case, you might want to slow down. Got it. Okay. So you... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So you use the other guys, and now your package is... Well, maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m. And now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express. Reliable, on-time, courteous service. So your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, and at a very reasonable uh, and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. Survey says. Hmm. <laughs> 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 that was actually good. That was, yeah. That was actually good. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, indeed. Uh, it was. It was good, but. Uh, what to? Uh, hmm, I guess. Blow it down just a little bit. I don't know, but um, yeah, slow it down just a little, I guess. Okay. Um, and uh, wow, I don't know what else to say besides that. <laughs> um, no, I, I think I think a little bit more dynamic. Uh, I think pulling out a little bit more of a character. 
Mm -hmm. uh, especially at the beginning, make it a little bit more sardonic, as I've said before, just a little bit more almost demeaning. Mm -hmm. you know, now the boss mm -hmm. wants to see you. Mm -hmm. You know, like really come down on the on, on, on the failure of it because that's that's sort of like the setup point. I need to become Sandra from work. Got it. Yes, you need to become Sandra from work. Let's see. Okay, so <laughs> you used the other guys, and now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost, but <laughs> it's sure didn't, I'm doing too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're doing too much cough yeah. in there. You don't need to do that. Okay. Just, just let it flow. Just, just you know, yeah. get into this whole, okay, I've got something behind my back, and, you know, it's, it's going to be, it, it's going to solve your failure, but mm -hmm. yeah, you, you, we, we got we to gotta point this out that you really, you really you messed up, Sandra. You screwed up right here. Right. <laughs> okay. So, you use the other guys, and now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m., and now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express. Reliable, on-time, courteous service. So your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, and at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. All right, what did you think? That was good. Yeah, I think it had a little bit more of the, the dynamics in it, the up and down. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All over that minefield. <laughs> that pack you took that package all over that minefield. Right. I went under the sea, I went through the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> you kicked it down the sidewalk. <laughs> this package doesn't say fragile on it, I can use it as much as I want. <laughs> Looks like a UPS delivery to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got it there on time, didn't we? Mm. Like, exactly. Okay. So you use the other guys, and now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost, but it sure doesn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> No, actually try it with that character. Yeah, seriously, go for it. <laughs> no, seriously, yeah, go for it. Okay, so you use the other guys, and now your package is, well, maybe it's not lost, but it sure didn't get to the client's office by 10 a.m., and now the boss wants to see you. So next time, use Federal Express. Reliable, on-time, courteous service. So your package arrives where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, okay? And at a very reasonable price. Federal Express gets it there. <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> How did that feel for you? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I, I just, I, could, I pictured that, okay? <laughs> I pictured a... a Girl sitting at a reception desk, you know, got the little microphone thing, maybe chewing a piece of gum, <laughs> you know. Just doing the manicuring the nails, like, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> like, girl, come on now. <laughs> it yeah. Worked. It really did. <laughs> I pictured, I pictured a black girl just doing the script, and I thought it was great. <laughs> oh my gosh just, just submit all my scripts like that you know <laughs> there you go well you, you you just if if that's not a character you already had in your bag you just created a new one for yourself <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> yeah just keep yeah. that one in your back pocket and have fun with it every once in a while. That exactly. might be something good to start up a script with. Like, <laughs> if you're going to do an audition, start a script with that. Perfect pattern break. Well, there you go. I mean, look, hey, that's how I've created most of mine. <laughs> I created Billy Bob and Ray just trying to test my equipment one day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And then, of course, I created a couple of other characters because the guy said, here's the tagline. Um, you can do whatever you want. Write your own scripts. 
Okay. Mm. Do I get so, paid extra for that? I, I created this couple named Imogene and Henry. <laughs> and uh, oh, Imogene, she's just up in here like this. I kind of borrowed from an old friend of mine. His mama used to sound like this when she talked. <laughs> and, and so she's like this up in here with that southern accent and stuff. And she just loves her gospel music. She just got to hear it all day long. <laughs> Henry, well, he's from, like, Virginia, so he's, like, got up in this nasally thing in the southern accent. Hey, hey, hey. And, you know, I'm from Virginia, uh, bro. <laughs> uh, Emma-Jane, you got to get in here and hear this. I think the crab family's on. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Oh, my. <laughs> I, I just, uh, improv has a payoff when it comes to doing certain things. And, mm -hmm. you know, when the guy says, just come up with something. <laughs> you know so I was like okay you know <laughs> oh my god people tell me just come up with something that's just like the worst thing like are you sure <laughs> you're absolutely fine with that because this may not be a good idea later in <laughs> it's like when my imagination is unleashed you know it just it works so well in this place mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, every everybody's booth is a TARDIS. It's always bigger on the inside, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We, we go to other worlds. We are just like the Doctor. <laughs> well, there is an entire universe in there, so yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, just and it, yeah, but every time you do that, you know, you come up with a new character, and then it's something, you know, somebody will have like, well, this a animation requires da 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 da, da. And it's like, well, I've got just a thing for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can bring that to the table. Yes, I can. <laughs> I brought this to the potluck. What did you guys bring? <laughs> awesome. This has been an excellent mic check. Mm -hmm. Yep. And for those who are listening on YouTube, we are not currently live, but uh, this is a replay from Zoom. And uh, if you want to stop by, there will be another Zoom link coming up because we have another one next Saturday. Yay! And, uh, yeah. <laughs> nobody will have to be concerned with getting lost in the maze and quagmire that is Google+. Plus. And we don't have yeah. to worry about getting kicked out in 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank All of the bugs Henry. have been worked out. <laughs> Asterisk. Yeah. <laughs> so here All we right. go. Everybody, take it easy. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Yep. Bye.